Hello everyone and welcome back to my career playthrough in Juno New Origins. We are in version 1.0.6.0 it says in the upper right. I perused the what's new in the update and well there's a lot of stuff. So we're not going to go through it, we're just going to play through and see how it goes and we'll have to reevaluate the cost of certain things and how certain things work but uh, probably not too much. Mainly there were bug fixes and things that we are we were hoping would get fixed anyway so uh we have career and we have uh luna flyby luna orbit uh there's this dot 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 here uh we can refresh contracts here that's something i read in the <laughs> what's new um so we could do that but i mean that's always a roulette wheel sort of thing uh, am I going to be happy with that? I'm not going to be happy with that. Hmm. The Lunar Flyby is hardly worth it, but I mean, we've got to bundle it with the Lunar Orbit, perhaps. But then if we want to do a Brigo Landing... But we've already done a Brigo Landing. Let's refresh contracts. Uh... Yeah, okay. We have to keep the jump one that's for the bottom part of the tech tree. Somebody had asked whether I was going to do space planes, probably. Um, TT Orbit. Well, there we go. I've been wanting that. Still has the Brigo Landing. Celero Flyby. Uh, well, I mean, we've sort of already done that. But, uh... That's just Drew Orbit. Um, we could... Go to a CubeSat... We could do a CubeSat mission and then head out to TT. That might be a good thing to do. I don't... Uh, the, the full tour of the moons is another thing I wanted to do. But do we want to land on all three? <laughs> that, that would be another thing. I, I wanted to go to TT, so we'll do that. And... I'll take the 10 sat one. And we'll dump off the 10 sats. Uh, we'll strap them to the side similar to how we had them in the previous video. Uh, I'm taking the 10 sat one because of symmetry. <laughs> because we can have two sets of five. So I think that'll be best. Okay, we'll take that CubeSat one so that we can advance in our CubeSatness so that we get better SAT contracts. We lost the simple SAT contracts here. And that should be possible to bundle with our mission to TT. So let's do that. are fully customizable in the game settings. All right, I'll do show me. Um, well, that, yeah. Left click, right click. Okay, well, I, I'm getting used to it as it is, so let's just leave it. Let's just leave it. Okay, well, we are not docking anymore. What we don't want is the docking port. Okay. 10 sats. These guys can go right on to that. We don't need the forward facing ones though. That's not necessary. Okay, because those are only for docking. Genuinely. So now, what's the center of mass so that we can put the roll thrusters properly? And we need less mob propellant. So now this is a more proper stage with 2.66 kilometers per second without that heavy docking port. We could probably make it better. Um, like we could make it an electric one. That would make it better. But I think this will be enough to get out to TT and make orbit around it. So we'll just take it as is. I sort of want to see how light we can make. Maybe maybe we won't make use the electron rocket. Um, maybe it should all be smaller. Uh, we'll use the electron rocket for this though. But at some point we need to get back to making things tight and less obnoxious. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll, I'll make uh, electron light. We've got these things clipping each other for heaven's sakes. That's fancy. You don't see that arrangement very much. 
So, not quite Electron. Cheaper. Cheaper. But it'll, we'll still have to launch from the... from the expensive launch site. And, of course, we're still going with the rule that I don't get to use the gyros. Let me remind people of that, because uh, you might not... That, that might not be obvious. So, we're not using the gyros, please remember. I think we can dump some of the battery. Still a little bit too much. Okay, so with this we will attempt to go to TT for the first time. Let me refresh my memory about TT's... I mean, it's not a strange orbit. Seems... Uh, wait. TT's that one? TT's that one. It's not the worst orbit I've ever seen. It's a strange orbit, but it's not the worst orbit I've ever seen. I, uh, yeah, let's just target it. We're basically equatorial, so we don't have to think about it yet until after launch. So, with that, stabilization on, RCS off, throttle up, and launch. So, our less powerful Electron rocket, Electron-ish rocket. With six engines instead of nine. Okay, we're separating anyway. Alright. We didn't have any overheating warnings this time. Oh, Apple is going down. No, we don't need that. Well, without the docking port, we should have probably made the upper stage much larger. Yeah, it's all sort of conditional on carrying a half-ton docking port, isn't it? It is OP for the situation right now. Okay, we are going to try to get the 183 settled here. Uh, well, that's a low periapsis, though, right now. Let's see where we need to get here. We could probably... I mean, uh, so we're going out and coming in. That's going to make it hard to capture, but probably not a serious problem. And even better, uh, this has us at a periapsis of 182, which suits us as far as the CubeSats are concerned. And I think that's before, before we hit the atmosphere again, so that's even better. So... Yeah, I think this is a good thing to do. It'll take us some time to get to TT, but that should be all right. We've got solar panels and everything. Um, we should have deorbited the stage, but I guess we can use it. Maybe we'll make an impromptu landing on TT. We'll see. Depends on other factors. All right. A slight bit of thrust to turn. And full ignition. But we need to stop at a certain point. And of course we don't want the periapsis to get out of whack. Okay, staging. Okay, we can detach the CubeSats now. Could have gotten it more precise, but let's just do it. Stage it. And all ten are out. All very nice and neat, too. Okay, on to TT. Uh, and I very much turned a little bit before. <laughs> uh, and again, otherwise we would hit the CubeSats. They might have all disappeared, though. I don't know how far away we have to be before they disappear. Uh, well, our plan has sort of changed here, so we'll just eyeball it now. Or maybe we should just do a, like, orbital tour of all three moons. Landing is nice and all. We, we could probably get some tech points for that. Approach info. Um, well, it, it's gone green. Going green is good, right? 
Oh, it's going further away now. Okay. Uh, we'll make adjustments at Apoapsis. We're carrying some heavy batteries for the lower stages. We could just put the batteries on the first stage. Or the second uh, on the second stage would be better. Okay, let me let me try and make a mid-course adjustment to help things. It says 740 there. Maybe I'll take 740, it doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, I'll just take the 740 kilometers. That'll probably be okay for now. We have to get lower. Uh, we'll get into the SOI first. We see you, TT. We're coming after you. Well, we can see TT very clearly, but we're not in TT's SOI yet. Oh, it's telling me to click there to recenter my camera. No, that's fine. That's fine. I uh, okay. I'll I'll do it for you. Just so the message goes away. Uh, okay, we're not we're not in TT's SOI yet, and we're getting away from TT now. So that that little encounter wasn't a real real encounter. Um, we will boost our orbit up to slow down. Uh, let's make a maneuver. Okay, it's changing things too much. Forget that. Um, what we're going to do is use main force. <laughs> I want target information. I'm doing the whole pretending it's Phobos thing. Whoa, that approach info is going all over the place. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, we've got a pretty approximate orbit. Well, uh, let's see. We'll keep doing it. Oh. Now you're really, really saying we're going into the SOI right game? Right? That's what you're telling me? Okay, we've got flyby. Now we need to make orbit. Uh, my orbital speed is six. I'm not in orbit yet. Oh, the periapsis is there. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. No more RCS, please. We will go to periapsis. You know, uh, some of these other symbols are the same on the nav ball, but for the prograde, oh, uh, just by turning on the RCS, we made orbit. Okay, but our eccentricity is too high. All right, we got that one. We don't need to end flight just yet, but yeah, uh, these icons, like for prograde retrograde over here, with the triangle and circle aren't the same as on the nav ball. If it was a triangle, it'd be a lot easier for me to recognize it instead of it being the four-pointed one and the two-pointed one. Uh, okay, let's see about our delta V first. Let's see, uh, we've got one, uh, uh, 1 1.24 kilometers per second. And let's see if we can just do sort of a grand tour thing. PT's in retrograde orbit, I guess. That's fine and all. I didn't even notice, it was so mild. Well, we don't need to bring it down just yet. It'll be better to flip around first and then bring it down. Let's just escape TT first. And then we'll see where we can hit the others. I think, I mean, we can land, but it's sort of trivial. Maybe, maybe we should land first. I mean, but the problem is we don't have landing legs, so we'll, we'll land, but it'll be, it'll topple over and we won't be able to do other things. 
Okay, uh, that'll be us on escape. Okay, and let's just go ahead and escape TT. We're totally done with TT. No. So, Luna, our new best friend. Uh, it's 932. I don't think we're gonna do much more than Luna. We should have picked up a Luna contract. Oh, well, there is. We're impacting Luna. That's good. But uh, I would like to get on the opposite side of Luna so Luna pushes us towards Brigo if we can. That doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, that, that would be a sort of nice situation to get to Brigo. Uh, let's go back. But uh, we're barely passing by Luna like that. Luna's got a lot of influence around here. I'd rather have a nice close flyby of Luna. Okay, so we'll do this maneuver. 930, so we won't have much left afterwards. Oh, uh, we're going all the way around, right? <laughs> uh, well, that's fine. Yep, we're going all the way around to here. Because we're still going clockwise. We will fix that with this burn. So we are about to reverse our course around Drew for the first time. Well, second time, I guess. We must have done it in order to rendezvous with TT, but... Again, that was that ended up being just so mild that I didn't even pay too much attention to it. Okay, we should start now. RCS on. Okay, and ignition. You know, that's looking pretty nice and planar. Let me Replot for a sec here. Well, there's some serious uh, orbital perturbation going on right there. Uh, okay. There's this other encounter going on over here, but that's after a while. Okay. Uh, we'll try this first. So we've got 479, and this will cost... Oops. Cops cost uh, 186. Okay, ignition. Uh, okay, let's get rid of that. All right, we've got the flyby. Uh, that's a little bit low. Uh, for Brigo, that's too low. So we will try to back off of that a bit. 53% mod propellant. Oh, okay. Uh, right. Well, now we did it. <laughs> no, our RCS thrusting has gone... Uh, made everything gone wrong, go wrong. Uh... Okay, we'll leave it there. Okay, RCS off. <laughs> um... I mean, maybe we should get closer to Luna, and then make orbit and break orbit, but... We'll see. Uh, right now we've got 294 meters per second. So we are meeting Luna like this. We're not going that fast around Luna. And we're really high up. Let's just see, because we came in, in a, from a high orbit, let's see how much it would take to make orbit around Luna. Uh, it's oh, well, we're fi fine tuned right now. Okay, well, it'll take 27.5. Well, just so that I can say that I did it. Maybe we'll make orbit and then break orbit and head to Brigo. 33.7 doesn't seem too bad. Okay, alright, we've captured. I mean, there's no like achievement unlocked in this case. Okay, but it says we are in orbit around 
Luna, right, it has the numbers here too. Oh, uh, it's uh, quite a long orbit too. Okay, to Brigo, so that we can say that we've uh, orbited all three. I don't know if we can, but we'll find out. Uh, wrong way, because we're going around this way. Huh. From this high orbit around Luna, it's not acting the way I would expect it to. Uh, well, first of all, let's target Brigo. Wow, our long orbit uh, around Luna is really playing merry havoc with our planning for the Brigo encounter. Uh, there, it, something's happening. That seems like a Brigo encounter. Right? <laughs> I hope so. Okay, well, 32.1 meters per second, not a surprise since we captured with about the same. And so in 21.7 hours, make sure we are recharging. Really long orbit around Luna. Okay. So, uh, lock off. I mean, that looks like a Brigo encounter to me, so... Ah, uh, god, just turning is changing our orbit a lot. Please, I want that Brigo encounter. Okay, well, it disappeared. Um, it, look, it seems like we're hitting Brigo, doesn't it? Well, that's good. <laughs> no, I want to make orbit around it. Uh, okay, it looks close. Brigo, Brigo. I mean, that looks pretty tight, right? 1.125 kilometers and orbit trivial. Um, we have 229 meters per second. Let's go to Brigo. We are going to Brigo. Now we just have to mine the battery power, We're pointing directly at the sun again. <laughs> Probably we'd have enough anyway. It's not gonna be that long. Just watch, just using the RCS a little bit probably messed us up a huge amount. We pulled away from Bigro there with the RCS burn to get some sunlight. Okay, stabilizing. Uh, we pull, uh, okay, it's getting closer. Okay, okay, uh, time warp. Oh, no, 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 you were doing good before. Oh, gosh. Oh, stop being so indecisive. <laughs> Don't crash, though. Okay, uh, RCS off. <laughs> it's fine. Um, maybe we'll get a good encounter, maybe we won't. No, that's pretty bad. Uh, RCS on. Oh, no, it took, away from, took it away from us. Oh, now we're crashing. Okay, um, fine, I'll take that. Just keep spinning, we'll get power somehow. We only have 10% mob propellant left because of all that. Okay, Rego encounter. Oh, that's much further away than I was expecting. Ah. Uh, well, can we make orbit? We can still make orbit with the Delta V that we have. Well, we are going to do so, and then we will have made orbit around all three moons while deploying 10 CubeSats, mind you. Not that we get anything extra for this. <laughs> I guess I should point out, and this is purely a vanity mission. I mean, past the two contracts that we actually fulfilled. Okay, good enough. Ignition. And get rid of that node. Okay, we actually got an extra bit of tech points because we 
have made Brigo orbit five times. Well, I'm gonna dispose of this. We are going to crash it into Brigo after all this. Give it a Viking funeral or whatever you want to call it. So yes, we orbited all three moons. And it's not a thing we have to do. Landing on all three moons might be more complicated, especially since we don't have really tiny docking ports. If our docking ports were lighter, and if we had like a very simple little docking mechanism, I guess we could just use an interstage and fuel tanks or something. Stage burn time, one second. <laughs> And that's the end of the mob propellant. And smack. All right, craft exploded on impact. And in flight. Safe flight. Save an exit. Okay, so we did all that. We got a lot of extra tech points. And let's take a look at the tech tree. So I will do uh, planes eventually, but uh, we're going to finish all the stuff up here first, I think. Heat shield coating. Um, let's get straight up Merlin leg. Um, docking port. I want. Oh, we can resize the docking ports. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can just make the docking ports smaller then, maybe. That makes sense, except I can't even dock things together. But uh, we, we might have to explore that a little bit. Hydrolocks. Yeah. Deep space. Ion engines I worry about. Uh, full flow stage combustion. New contracts. We might as well. Okay, we got all the new contract ones up here. Um, yeah, we'll have to wait on the ones down there. I think I'll leave it there for now. I won't make any further decisions. Alright, so that is what I did in Juno New Origins today. With that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.